In summary, under hydrocolloid dressings, the growth factors and enzymes released from neutrophils and the byproducts of the fibrinolytic activity, together with the low O2 content of the wound environment, all combine to draw macrophages to the wound site. Macrophages in turn release growth factors that are essential for dermal repair. Angiogenic growth factor stimulates the formation of new blood vessels. Fibroblast growth factor triggers fibroblasts to lay down collagen. Together, these activities contribute to the formation of healthy red granulation tissue. To facilitate wound resurfacing, macrophages also release epidermal growth factor, which stimulates keratinocyte multiplication and proliferation. Finally, with regard to enhancing patient comfort, moisture retentive dressings, such as hydrocolloid dressings, can reduce discomfort and pain during dressing changes. These dressings interact with wound fluid and form a soft gel mass over the wound bed. This environment allows sensitive nerve endings to be bathed in a physiological wound fluid and minimizes mechanical irritation to these nerve endings. This gel mass also reduces pain by creating a protective buffer between the dressing and the newly formed tissue, which unlike gauze dressings does not adhere to newly formed tissue.